Hello, everybody. We are back with another playthrough. Another battle play, let's call it. Another one by Daedalic Entertainment. Which shouldn't come as a surprise, because it's the sequel to the last one I did. Edna and Harvey in Harvey's New Eyes. I can't resume a game for some reason. I must not have played it yet. New game. It seems like you need to be solaced Telling from the scratch on your knee You fell and got hurt in the process And now you come trying to me I cater for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants Don't worry my dear, there is nothing to fear Just a stitch and a sew, soon it's almost as new And the cat will appear after all you have to Admit it is not as severe I was not expecting Oh, I have needle and stitch right here Take care of you and up, Scott, my dear I can't stand to watch children bleed Well, don't give me that kind of look now Just keep going on soon you will Please. See how everything will end well though Once I get to the aid It still may depend on your skill Why are you doing this to me? I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants Whose idea was this? But yet needle and thread can bear dangers instead If you're clumsy and plump and dull fingers and thumbs It might just turn out bad specially when it comes To delicate operations like that In the string, it's just a loop in the string. Oh, I have needle and stitch right here. Take care, or you'll end up scarred, my dear. I can't stand to watch children bleed. I guess I should revise my statement. The wound is not going to heal. Forget about all that I said and work harder on your stitching skill. I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants Now will you pay the bill for your lack of skill And please do stop crying and mourning and sighing Don't weep like a whale that is painfully dying I merely was trying to help I am so speeding this up Hey, Harvey! I can't stand to watch children bleed. Whoa. That's, that's a way to end the song. Hello, dear friends of Adventure Games. Hi! The spyware we installed on your computers tells me that many children are sitting at their screens again tonight. That's why I'll refrain from telling you the story that I had actually prepared for you. Of course, that's a real shame. It would have been such a good story. Entertaining explosions, a giant robotic opossum. I want that but story! Also, with many offensive expressions and an inordinate amount of excessive violence. Oh, come on! The story that I'll tell you instead has a slightly different flavor. It's about Lily, the most virtuous child in the entire world. And it begins in the courtyard of a small, sleepy convent school. Not too far from the place where the giant robotic opossum is sucking the brains of innocent bystanders out through their eye sockets. What? But enough of that. It's no, a beautiful, we, we, sunny day. Jiggy butt! And Lily is raking the leaves in the yard with a cheery tune on her lips. Go back to possum! La, 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 la. Lily cannot sing. Lily, how many times do I have to tell you not to sing while working? You know very well that I hate the sound of cheerful children. Oh, children are driving me crazy. Who put you in charge of children? <whistles> Chapter one, the convent. All right. Let's see. What can we do, and when can we do it? Where can we do it, and why? Come on, Edna. 
who is barely a supporting role in this game, despite oh, being in the title. You are. Is that Moloch making you rip, 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 rake leaves again? Now, now, Edna, and don't so, make fun of a speech of boring impediment. and so unnecessary too. The leaves all drift back onto the path anyway. You should just come with me instead. I'm on a treasure hunt right now, you know? Uh-uh. Well, it's your decision. You can always come to the swing tree later, when you're done here. I think I found something in the flower beds over there. Until then, see ya! Alright. Briefly said. There are frequent reports of accidents caused by the mishandling of computer games. To minimize the risk of a crippling deformity, we recommend that you strictly comply with all of the following safety guidelines. Do you want to play the tutorial? Sure. You've decided to play the tutorial. That's very smart of you. And because you paid attention, you also know that with all these leaves here, the convent garden needs a good raking. Lily has already picked up the rake. Accordingly, the cursor now shows the picture of a rake. To discover the spots where Lily can rake, simply press the space bar. Why don't you just try it out right okay, now? Okay, I'll do so. Would you look at that? The red eyes show which items can be used. Apparently, there are three piles of leaves that Lily can use with the rake. Okay. Hot diggity! You've taken the first step without giving anyone a deep flesh wound. <laughs> but your work isn't done yet. Finish the task for Mother Superior. It can't be that hard, can it? No. Hmm. Okay, rake. Rake. Rake it up. Break up them leaves. All right. I'm just moving them back and forth. What's that noise outside? Nothing. Lily, now I've had it up to here. I guess I overestimated you once again. You're not even fit to rake leaves. Oh. It doesn't matter. I have two new tasks for you. The flower beds in the backyard have to be dug up again. Can you manage that? Uh huh. I doubt it. But we'll see. And while you're in the backyard, the swing tree is infested by termites. Come up with something to get rid of them for good. So, one more time for the really clueless. First, dig up the flower beds. Second, get rid of the termites infesting swing tree. You'll be very sorry if you don't do a good job. Your mom will be sorry. Okay. Lily has finished raking. She's no longer holding the rake in her hand but she still got it with her. If you would like to use it again, you can find it in Lily's inventory. Move the mouse cursor to the lower right edge of the screen to open the inventory. Be careful you don't get your finger caught. Amputations are such unhappy affairs. Goodness. Good. Now, click on the rake symbol with the left mouse button to pick up the rake again. You can now use the rake with other objects at any time even with other inventory items. Good to know. This hadn't been very effective, but Lily still felt that she had gotten much closer to her goal. All right. Get this off my screen. No? Oh, all right. Now that Lily has been relieved of her first task, it's time to get familiar with the basic game mechanics. Press the left mouse button to send Lily wherever you want. Whenever Lily can leave a location, the cursor... Okay, this is basic, basic stuff. Basic, basic, basic stuff. When doing garden work, remember, stay alert. 
the cursor changes whenever Lily can interact with an object. I think I'm done with this tutorial. Seriously. I have little to no need for the tutorial. All right. The swing tree was crawling with termites. Okay, that's Why one of our jobs. Why Mother Superior dislike these cute little animals so much? The yard waste was rotting away leisurely in the composting bin. A paradise for maggots and spiders. Oh. Lily couldn't stop watching the fascinating activity in there. Alright. I'm gonna warn everybody up front, this game gets pretty dark, Edna but still funny. Edna Lily's best friend. She always knew how to cheer up Lily. For example, by sabotaging the brakes on the mailman's bicycle. What? Hey, Lily, did you finally get out of doing your stupid raking chore? Uh-huh. Very good. Then you finally got time to go treasure hunting with me? Uh-uh. What? Did you get even more chores to do? Uh-huh. That's so unfair. Then maybe we can still find a way for you to help me. That would be cool. I'm sure you're dying to know how the treasure hunting's going, right? Uh-huh. Well, to be honest, not so great. Oh. The ground is just too hard. I doubt I'll be able to find anything here without a shovel. But I already have lots of cool dirt under my fingernails, and I even swallowed a slug by accident. Look a on the bright side. consolation from Mother Nature. All right. Mother Superior is having a bad day again, isn't she? Uh-huh. That wasn't hard to guess. The last good day she had was when everyone got mumps. I've rarely heard her laugh so hard. Don't let her annoy you too much, okay? I think I hate her as much as Alfred from the last game. What do you have to do for Mother Superior now? Don't tell me you have to scrape off her warts with a pumice stone again. <coughs> she's still finding crumbs in our bunk from last time. <coughs> Oh, told God. You to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, Crumbs. right? Uh. <sighs> it was just a question of time. Does she even realize how hard it was to collect them all? I even broke into the firefighter's museum to get the large red ones. And then all the trouble I went to teaching them tricks. They can already do a polonaise if you lay a trail of jelly. I wanted to teach them the cha-cha next. Uh, what the hell? Maybe you can relocate them instead of blasting them out or whatever else it was you had planned. I'd even help you, but I've run out of jelly. I have crumb trauma. Alright. Um... Are you still worried about the termites? I'd really love to help you, but unfortunately, I don't have any more jelly to lure the little darlings someplace else. But when we found the treasure, we can buy ourselves a whole jelly factory. Or even better, a honey farm. I think honey is much cooler than jelly anyway. It sticks to the bottoms of your shoes better. And How if we had a honey farm, we could also train the bees. Maybe there's still a chance for my project. Peepholes for the Great Wall of China, after all. You're strange. Uh, wait, Lily. This is an especially hard spot. Oh, what a drag. This is ruining all my calluses. And it took me so long to nurture them. These flower beds could really use some digging. Uh-huh. Don't tell me that's exactly what Mother Superior ordered you to do. Uh-huh. But that's fabulous. And you'll be able to help me dig up the treasure after all. You don't even have a choice. You've been kind of told to by the Lord. All we still need is a shovel. All right. I need to find a shovel. Bush. Lily would have also made a good bush. She could stand on the sidelines for hours without anyone noticing her. Lily was excited. Where could the hose lead to? What a surprise. The hose led to a thing. Okay. It's a pump. Yeah, it's a pump. All right, what's that? Lily knew that this device was called an air hammer, but she didn't know why anyone would want to hammer air. The idea was good, but Lily's arms were too short. Okay, so I can't really read. Ooh, I can read something. A brush was lying on the shelf. Lily just had to reach out. 
All right. Yank. Or yoink. Yink. Yunk. Yunk. All right. We're going to have to get into the cellar somehow. How are we going to get in the cellar? Lily's fellow student, Freeman, was bent over the edge of the well. If he moved forward just a little more, he'd fall in. Just like in Lily's favorite book. What books is she reading? Uh... Hmm? Oh, Lily. I thought somebody was there. Don't bug me. I'm busy. Uh... Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? I'm trying to concentrate, okay? Something is down there in the well. I can see something sparkling. Oh man, I hope it's the key to the cellar. Why that would, would be it... so gumbo. <gasps> Let me guess. You don't know what gumbo is, right? Uh-uh. Oh, Lily, you're just hopelessly square. Guys as cool as me say that's totally gumbo. Or... That gumbos. But you're just lame. Totally ungumbo. Sounds really stupid. Um. Really, Lily, stop talking so much. Unless, of course, you have an idea how I can get the cellar key. Just think of all the things I could do with it. I hear that awesome stuff is stored down there. Not just junk like shovels and brushes and all that. I'm talking about real treasures. Um, is this going to be another one of your lectures about law and order at the convent? I'm so interested. Oy. What now? Can't you see I'm busy with the well? Or did your oh-so-great Mother Superior forbid that too? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah? That just proves how absurd adults' rules are. We We're not allowed in the cellar. Jeez, Lily, you're like a broken record. We can't do this. We can't do that. Don't drink motor oil. Don't play with the electrical sockets. Really know how to spoil all the fun. No this wonder no one likes you. You probably also ignored the don't eat paint chips rule, didn't you? What? You're still here? Don't creep around like that. I almost fell in the well from fright. Huh? Oh, how cute. Are you worried about me now? Or what? Don't worry. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to climb down into the well. But not because Mother Superior has forbidden it. Just because it really is too dangerous. Although... Eh, I'm not getting anywhere with this. Uh... Don't you have anything to do? Isn't there something you're supposed to be doing for Mother Superior? Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew it. You're such a loser for getting constantly stuck with those jobs. What is it this time? Do you have to alphabetically sort the compost again? Or remove the hair from her back? Uh, crumbs. Don't tell me. You're supposed to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, good luck. The swing tree's made of sweet licorice. No, it's and not. termites are known for going crazy over candy. You'll never manage it. Ants are known for going crazy Let over candy. Let me guess. You have to dig up the flower beds, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, good luck. That's going to take forever with your little girly hands. But don't think I'll lend you a shovel when I get into the cellar. That is, unless you do want to help me get the key from the bottom of the well. Uh-uh. That's what I thought. Because it's forbidden, right? Oh, man, Lily. You're so straight, it's a miracle anyone can tell you apart from the trees. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you for watching, and next time we'll start the body count. Uh, I mean, uh continue this game. Yes, uh, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful time. Good night, everybody.